Good morning, everyone. It's Phil Wade from Dalton Wade Real Estate Group. Today I'm here with Claren, Lisa, and we're going to be talking about uh, converting uh, internet leads um, and kind of best practices around that. Um, if you've been working internet leads previously, probably some of these you already know, uh, but hopefully there's a few uh, few new ones in here that um, you know will help you in uh, in your conversion of um, you know potential potential clients. So um, one of the basic ones um, is as soon as you get that lead is to kind of make that call immediately. Um, it's been tested and proven that um, after 10 minutes. Um, the, uh, the lead starts to deteriorate. Um, and if you think about it, what, uh, what that is all about is uh, that person, you know, could, could have clicked several, um, you know, several agents and then depending on who actually uh, spoke with them first has the best chance of, um, you know, of, um, of doing business with them. So call as soon as, uh, soon as possible, try to make contact, try to speak to them. If you can't uh, get in touch with them, uh, certainly leave a message. Um, and then that's sort of where the follow-up and um, uh, folks that are better at sort of this uh, end up with a higher higher conversion ratio and you just convert more people. Um, so you want to leave a voice message and then you want to send that person a text. Um, and Claren had actually developed a great email that um, seems to be very, uh, you know, very effective. So you want to call. Uh, if you don't speak to them, leave a message, text them, and then send them, uh, send them an email. We're happy to share that email. Um, that seems to be working with anyone. Um, so that's kind of day one. And then day two um, is to sort of do the same thing again. Um, and again, um, the call text, email, uh, different people communicate different ways. So um, you've really hit all three that uh, potentially might work for somebody. Um, and then do it again the second day, um, give them another call, leave them another message, um, you know, send that text again and then send that email again. Uh, now you would have made six contacts with them um, and you know, if, if they haven't responded, um, you know, that doesn't mean that they're, you know, completely, um, you know, dead and, and not convertible. It's just, you know, maybe a little bit harder and, um, you know, their timing may not be immediate um, and they may be looking out, you know, looking out in the future. So one way to sort of put the person on autopilot and actually meaning the contact and actually be providing some value is to get them uh, set up uh, in the My Matrix on the MLS, even if you haven't spoken to them. Basically, um, the lead that kind of, you know, the property that they came in on, try to come up with a search criteria for them and then um, set them up. Um, what's really good about that is you are able to, uh, you're able to see whether or not they're logging in um, and if they're active on, um, you know, the MLS, it's a great sort of tool to kind of view your leads. Um, if they're active, then, you know, you might go back after them again, maybe a week later, uh, call them again, text them, send them another email, personal email. Um, if they've never been active and it says never on M on the My Matrix, then, you know, you would have hit them six times, you would have sent them some auto emails and they've never logged in they're probably dead. Uh, so you would just go on to the people that, um, you know, have logged in. Um, and then the next one um, would be to, um, you know, sort of hit upon them again, possibly after, um, just looking at my page, you know, once a month, just to sort of check in. Um, Lana, who's not here today, she actually converted uh, somebody about uh, two or three weeks ago. They were back from February. She had never spoken to them, but she actually, you know, continued to once a month, you know, send them a little note, personalized email, and uh, they went for it. And then, you know, if they were a cash buyer, easy close, couple of weeks. So again, if she hadn't sort of done that monthly pinging, she never would have, you know, got that deal. It ended up being like six thousand dollar commission. So it was, it was great. So, you know, again, you know, you're taking kind of a top level view. You've got all these leads. Um, you know, what you're trying to do is, is you know, pull one, two, or more. You know, kind of back in, um, turn them into a transaction. You know, if over the course of a year, um, you know, you do that four or five times, and you know, it's 
5,000, 6,000 commission, you know, you can do the math, but it's a significant amount of money. So don't, you know, don't really give up on them. Um, so that's a personalized email. You could, you know, come up with a monthly newsletter, um, you know, again, kind of showing your value as a buyer's agent, buyer tips, uh, kind of send that out. You know, it, it's sort of the same thing again. Um, in all of this, what's, what's um, two, two things again, not so much in the contact, but, you know, how you actually manage, um, you know, your contacts. The company, you know, provides the follow-up loss system. You know, if you're a non-Dalton weight agent and you're watching this, you know, hopefully your company uh, gives you something so you can track your leads or you're going to have to buy it yourself. I mean, if, if you think about, you know, you're really making a commitment to sort of, you know, online internet leads. Um, you know, typically 20 to 30 a month, um, you know, is kind of the number that you sort of need to have coming in to, um, you know, to drive your business. If you look at that over a year, you know, that's 250 to 400 leads. It becomes unmanageable if you don't have a system, you know, around that. And then um, the other thing that's important is, you know, certainly trying to track, um, you know, how you're doing, what your conversion rate is. You know, if you've gotten 100 leads in, you know, how many deals have you gotten out of that? Um, you know, typically 4 to 5% uh, conversion is certainly, you know, accomplishable. Um, I've seen some agents up in the 7, 8, 9% range. Uh, so that means out of 100 leads that are coming in, they're, they're getting, you know, 7 to 9 transactions. So certainly profitable. Um, uh, and then understanding kind of what your numbers are around that is, is equally important. So any questions, any comments from Claren Claren who's and Lisa, who have both done very well with uh, converting internet leads? Yeah. Lisa, anybody out there in Periscope land um, have any questions, comments? You just type in uh, the we'll little... Yeah, question from Juan. Hi, Juan. <laughs> uh, we'll follow up boss track. Yeah, follow-up loss, basically, um, Mo Claren, you, you can talk about it, you use follow-up loss. Um, you can set tasks for yourself so that, is that, is that what you mean yeah. by tracking? Will it track conversion? He wants to know if it will track conversion. Oh, it, it I don't will. know. It, it does. Okay. As long as you actually, um, you know, change the status of the person to, um, you know, um, sold, sold or, buyer. or buyer and, you know, whatever that is in terms of your own you know, kind of how you're doing that. Um, certainly you were able to see your stats in terms of how many people you've, you've converted. Yep, it will do that. So you just have to You just have change. to change the status. I mean, typically if somebody's, you know, uh, a finished transaction, um, you know, you, hopefully you've had them in hot prospect, uh, that category, and then you've moved them and you can, you know, depending on the buyer, the closed, um, there's closed, okay. there's former client, there's a few different categories in that drop down uh, that you can put them in. But, you know, you just want to be consistent in how you use that and put all the same, you know, if they're all closed transactions. Um, you know, again, you're going to be, I mean, because the, the person's going to come in as a lead. The person's going to come, come in as a lead, and then, well, so Phil will send them to you as a lead, and then you change them to a hot pos prospect. <laughs> You know, I think what when they go under contract, you're supposed to change them to buyer. Or right. There's a pending too. Pending. Yeah, there's a pending. pending. So, right. Yep. So basically, I you... don't use it like I should. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just being honest. Yeah. Well, I mean, really, the uh, I mean, the tracking you can kind of do it manually. I mean, even if you know, again, if you've gotten you know 300 leads and you've hit the five percent mark, you know, that would have been 15 deals you know, throughout, uh, throughout the course of the year. Um, so that's certainly, uh, that's certainly, a, you know, a good start, uh, and a good, you know, good number of deals that you can sort of build off of, you know, with and some other. There's a tutorial on it, right? Juan yeah. would like that sent yeah, to him. The, Maybe send it to There's a, a tutorial. Um, certainly the follow-up boss people are very helpful and, you know, it, um, really the biggest thing is more around the, uh, the, um, the uh, the tasks. Um, we've got Talia joining us now. <laughs> so um, really, the tasks are the, the big uh, the big feature in terms of um, um, being able to um, you know, follow you know the uh, the uh, you know your clients. 
Anything else there that you might add that might help, Lisa? I mean, I just noticed that if I write in the notes what happened during a conversation or if I looked up a property and found out what happened to it, it helps me later because if I haven't done that and I'm going back yeah, for someone, no I'm like, oh, goodness, I know I looked this up. I know I have more information. And then I find myself having to look it up and go through it all again, and I just wish that I'd been better with my record keeping from the beginning because when I do, it, it helps. You know, it's it's a process and it's a discipline. It is a discipline, and I think embracing uh, you know embracing it as something that um, you know you make a commitment to, in terms of how you're going to go about doing your business. Um, you know, ultimately it will help you because um, it just keeps you organized. And again, when you're talking, you know, even a hundred leads, fifty leads, you know, that are kind of in your database, they start to run together. You forget and. You know, again, I mean, I can't, this is really the, the most important thing of it all, is that if you think about, okay, um, you know, it's 300 leads that have come and gone over the course of a year, somebody that's more engaged and does a better job with it, you know, their conversion ratio, you know, will go up one or two percentage points, that's three or six more deals, you know, 5,000, you know, average deal, that's 15 to $30,000 more of, of money. So it's, it, it adds up fast. Um, so that's, you know. Will it track, is there a way to have it track text messages? Um, Not yet, I don't think so. You have to just kind of, when I get a, like, text conversation I want mm -hmm. to remember, I'll just go in and put it in the notes what we talked about, but it doesn't, it doesn't actually, it'll track your emails, so that, It'll track your emails and you'll see, you know, you can link, you know, you can click on it and see the email back and forth uh, as clear. I mean, it can do some auto emails as well. Um, I'm not as big a believer in those because if you're using, you know, if you're using the My Matrix and kind of combining them together, um, you know, that's a great source because you can kind of see what, you know, the person is doing, if they're favoring properties. Uh, how often they're in there looking, you know, tells you they're a better, you know, a better candidate than someone who's never gone in. Any other, uh, any other questions out there? Alrighty, well thanks everyone for tuning in and joining us and uh, the people that uh, took the effort to come here today, thanks so much. And uh, we'll see you next week.